Welcome to the SoftMod video tutorial. SoftMod your Xbox. You need a Splinter Cell game. You also need two memory cards with the hacked game saves on them. Now go ahead and boot up your Xbox with no disk in it and insert both memory cards into your controller. Now that you've booted up, go ahead and select memory. From here, push the left and select one of the memory cards hit A go down go to the right press A press copy press A now go back and do the same thing with the other memory card what you're doing here is you're copying the game saves from the memory cards to your Xbox hard drive. Then you don't need the memory cards anymore. Push copy. Now you can go back. Now that you've copied both uh, memory cards to the hard drive, you can take out the memory cards. You're done with those. Now you can insert your Splinter Cell game. Go ahead and stick it in the tray. Close the tray and wait for it to load up. Alright, it's loading up now. Go ahead and, you know, hit A. Skip those previews. Alright, now you want to select Start Game, push A, and this screen push Start with the, on your controller. That's the start button. Hit A, start game, and then hit the start button on your controller once you get to that Linux screen. Now the soft mod menu has booted up. First thing you want to do is back up your Microsoft dashboard and back up your EEPROM. Doesn't matter which order you do it in. We will back up the EEPROM first. Make your backups. Backup EEPROM, hit A. Backing up. Back that up. Now you want to move that EEPROM to E. Because that's where all the good stuff is, you know, in the E drive. Go ahead and get back to the main menu. Now you want to back up. MS Microsoft Dashboard. I'm gonna save that just in case you ever screw up your uh, your whole Xbox. You know, ultimately you want to save that on your computer. You know, because if you screw up your Xbox, well, obviously it's screwed up. You can't access it. So put it on your computer. I'll show you how to do that later. Alright, so it is copying, copying that, uh, alright, it's done. You don't need to create a C drive backup, it's just a waste of space. Your C drive is your MS dash currently, so you would just be doing a double backup, so just push it out. Don't even go there, actually. I'm just showing you this, just for, this, for the heck of it. Alright, now's the fun part. Now you can actually install the soft mod. Now, you can install dual boots and all kinds of other complicated stuff. 
Don't need to do that. Just install the single boot soft mod and you can choose between standard or standard for HD if you have an HD TV. Used to, you know, it would be convenient to have a dual boot where you could dual boot the Microsoft dashboard and you can also dual boot the Unleash, uh, the new dashboard, the modern one. But since Xbox One is obsolete, that was the only reason you ever wanted to go back to the Microsoft dashboard. It's pointless, you know. Just install straight up single soft mod. Go through the menus and hit yes. The installer is so smart it actually checks to make sure you know you backed up what you need to back up first. Go ahead and uh, push yes here on this. It's done installing. It's going to reboot. Now you do need to take your uh, your disk out once it reboots, and then reboot again, so you can boot into the dashboard and not into the game. See, the disk is still in here, so it's going to boot into the game. We. Oui. All right, go ahead and take that disc, reboot it. now you are officially have a modded Xbox this is your new dashboard it looks like the other one except it's blue uh, you want to go back to the soft mod menu there see what I did I went to uh, settings and went to boot soft mod menu why are we going back in here I forgot Oh yeah, because I was going to make a, a backup for the C drive, but like I said, you don't need that. Don't need it. If you want to see your C drive, just go to FTP and look at your C drive. You don't need a backup. See, the thing with the Xbox is, is that it's uh, it's not all one partition, and the E drive is where all your stuff is. So you have a limited amount of space if you don't change your hard drive, so you don't want to fill it up with stuff you don't need. Now, you, I just went into settings here. You want to go into settings and change your network settings and change it to DHCP instead of static. Go down, hit save. That's important because, you know, you need, you need to get a uh, dynamic IP from your Xbox. I mean, you could have it static, but I always use dynamic. Works out pretty well. Just in case another computer might want the same IP. You can do all kinds of stuff here. Change the screen calibration. Maybe mine's a little bit off. Change the nickname. All kinds of stuff. Change the skin. Here's your menu system, you know. You can change the way the menu is set up too, but automatically look for games in E slash games, look for applications in E slash applications, etc. You see down there at the bottom right, uh, when you have an IP, 
it should show it right there. Probably gonna need a reboot in order for uh, that to work. So go ahead and you know hook it up to the Ethernet cord like you normally do, and reboot it and see if you get an IP. If you don't, uh, follow those instructions on how to set that up. You know, with Windows, Windows 7 and Windows. See there you go. Got the IP. Now that's uh, your IP address for your Xbox. Now you have access to it. To see all the files in there including the ones in your game disk if you have the game disk loaded you want to FTP to that address username is Xbox password is Xbox very simple yeah the auto launch is automatically on no there which is a good thing you know that way if you want to check out the the files on your game disk it's not going to automatically launch you know so you have time to FTP and you know check it out that's it. Officially soft monitor Xbox. Congratulations.